Well, in general, I'd say that um, this is a landmark transaction. Um, it would be the first uh, IPO in Germany this year. Uh, and it would, as you say, uh, be a landmark for Europe as well. Now, in the run-up um, to this, we've seen very strong and very constructive uh, engagement with investors. And I'd say that it's a testimony to this company and the brand uh, that in particular in challenging times uh, in the markets that we're experiencing, this uh, potential IPO uh, finds so much following. We are uh, a global coordinator, as you said, and we will be very, very committed to make this a success. Uh, in a way, uh, clearly, it, is, uh, it would be a great testimony uh, that companies with very strong proposition can come to market, even in challenging times, like the, the ones we are just experiencing. What does the pipeline look like? You know, should this IPO go ahead and go smoothly? There's obviously a lot of hope within the banking community um, that we see more companies choose to come to market. But what does the pipeline look like from an IPO perspective? And I per perhaps the other side of the coin, what does the pipeline look like from an M&A perspective? Yeah, I think you alluded to um, the markets being uh, in a state where they need to adapt to uh, the new re reality. Um, same for corporates. Uh, we're facing uh, the high inflation, uh, rising interest rate, energy crisis type of environment that everybody gets adjusted to. Now, as we've seen with Porsche, with very strong brand and a very strong proposition, a topic that deals with sort of pricing power, margin resilience, competitiveness, is certainly some that resonates with investors. Similar companies um, or companies in specific sectors, like for example, healthcare or the energy sector, find followings even in these markets. In general, obviously, uh, one has to look very careful, carefully at the proposition and whether it works. The M&A markets have held up much better than the IPO markets in, in this, and we have seen that particularly topics around restructuring, resilience, uh, diversification resonate, and we still see a healthy M&A uh, pipeline and healthy M&A discussions. Again, on the IPO front, it is more selective, and we will have to look exactly at the proposition we put forward in these fairly volatile markets.